Well, hello everyone, and we're back here at the house. Uh, as you could see by now, we have our own weather vane. I have no idea how we got up there. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, another Minecraft server. Another place where the chickens get everywhere. <laughs> Okay, and I added myself a little coloured porch. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> In this episode, I think I want to start uh, redecorating. Well, decorating this place has never been decorated to start with, and um, yeah, starting to make this place my my little town home. There's plenty of space here for a few bits and pieces. <laughs> oh dear, and I'm, I'm not even going to begin to speculate how we got up there. Okay, right. And <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Uh, but the one thing I do want to do first is, um, I need to leave somebody a a little gift. Now, I don't know if you have seen Mod's video of the prank I played. Unfortunately, my footage got corrupted, so uh, uh, nobody uh, uh, nobody's ever going to get to see that. But it was well, uh, actually, to be totally honest, it was a rather boring three hours spent uh, filling his house with chickens, which probably accounts for the chickens that uh, are everywhere now. I mean, look, everywhere. Uh, in the end, I put about, I think it was something like about 400 chickens in his house because he has this rather annoying habit of calling me a man whore because I, I talk to people. I don't know what his problem is, but there you go. Oh, yes, uh, he's put in these roads. I had a little help with the design, but uh, the work is all his, and I think they look excellent myself. Uh, it's all looking rather nice. So, yes, I, I filled his house with... Uh, a few hundred chickens and uh, the responses on his channel I will put a link in the description if I remember I will try very hard to because it's well worth watching uh, but uh, and at the downside his uh, partner in crime Murtai uh, ended up getting uh, stuck with killing all the chickens as well and uh, killed her sword so I thought it's it's only only fair that I take a little bit of time. Oh, what's this? In case of emergency breakfast. <laughs> I thought it's only fair that uh, I replace her sword for her, so that's what we're going to do. I uh, spent a couple of minutes down in the, uh, the the zombie spawner getting myself up to level 30, so let's see what I can get. Unbreaking 3 is a bit boring, but... Uh, do. I'm just going to borrow a little bit of your quartz, uh, your lapis lazuli there. I will return it. But uh, right, let's see what's get. Well, it's an unbreaking three sword, which is not bad, but I think it's a touch boring. So let's uh, let's take a bit of time here and see what we can get in books. And I have a leather there, so let's. Uh, Let's go and get some reeds Quick. and make a book and see what we can add to that because that's a bit boring really, isn't it? And if worst comes to very worst, I shall pop down to the zombie spawner and get myself a few levels uh, again so we can do a level 30 enchant, but hopefully we won't need to. Back up here. Do love the decorations you put in so far, Mod. I actually find that very amusing. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah. Right, okay. So first things first, let's uh, make a book. And a bit of leather. Okay, so let's put that on there. Thorns, efficiency, a 
efficiency. Oh, those are great ones. Okay, right. Looks like I'm going to have to do um, a little bit of leveling, enchant a couple of bits and pieces, level some more. Uh, so I will be back in a couple of minutes. Right, well, it took a little while, but uh, finally I've got a sharpness 3 to go with the unbreaking 3, which is not too bad at all. So I shall just merge those in an anvil, but before I do that... There's your 3 lapis back mod before you say anything. Okay, right. So there's Unbreaking 3 and Sharpness 3 and we need to give this a, a decent name and I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll name this sword after Mod's favourite colour. It's only fair really, isn't it? So there we go. Right. So here you have the Mighty Sword Bink. Okay, now. Um, yeah, okay, this took me a while but I did get some fun things like a Flame 1 and... Um, some very interesting uh, shovels to go with it, so I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with this, to be totally honest with you. Uh, right, and yes, okay, so what do we need here? All right, let's get these doors open for a sec, and let's get this crafting table down. Oh, and out of wood. Right, so, first things first, let's go get some wood. And that's... And let's make our way out. And let's go again. Do something unpleasant to a tree quickly. Uh, oh, incidentally, uh, actually, yeah, thinking about it. Yeah, it did take me a little while to do this. I've got to be honest with you. A little bit of working on experience because not only did I do those shovels. I did all these books as well. So, yeah, it took me a little while, but I think it's entirely worth it. So let's go and get a tree. Oh, it looks like somebody's found a desert. Oh, nice. And this one will do. This is definitely a tree. If there was another two of them, there'd be a tree of them. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'll plant something there in a sec. Let's uh, not hang around all day. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need a in fact I might as well do it here. We are going to need a chest. So let's get this wood converted into planks, make a quick chest. And I want to name this chest, so use this here. And we'll call it Apologies. Uh, I'm I'm saying sorry to Murtai here. Ooh. Ah, okay. Alright, so let's uh, get back into into the house here, out of the rain. Um it's occurred to me that I'm halfway well, probably more than two thirds of this episode now already, and I still haven't actually done any decoration in my house whatsoever so we shall need to do that straight after this okay so yeah what do I want okay actually I think I want to go back outside it's only it's only only correct that I leave this outside the house rather than uh, breaking and entering it isn't it so we shall put the chest here and we shall put the mighty sword pink there and we shall uh, leave a message and excuse the thumb I'm just about to move the microphone so I can type easier right dear Murtai my humblest apologies for the inconvenience that correcting mods ever its behavior caused you. I believe 
I owe you a sword. Please enjoy this one. And we'll call this Apologies. No, we won't. We'll call this Apologies. There we go. Right. Move the uh, microphone back so you guys can hear me a little better. So we shall put that in there. And there we go. There is my gift to uh, Murtai. And apologies for... Oh. Aren't you a butch fella? Um, apologies for causing her to have to wear out her sword killing all those chickens. But I, I hope they enjoyed the chickens. So yeah. Right. Back to my house. I'll see you there. Now, one of the biggest problems with Minecraft is it just takes so long and it's so easy to distract yourself from doing things and you just, oh, hello, uh, you just end up going off and doing things on a tangent. I mean, I set out this morning, it was, well, this afternoon, it was a little after lunchtime, to uh, just do a, a, a start, a quick redecoration of this house. And it's now, it's 4.58, it's just coming up to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't actually started it yet, uh, so let's actually crack on and, and do some of this before you know, we might as well just give up. Okay, um, what I'm planning on doing is making this area a kitchen. I'm thinking of making this area more of a living area. Uh, might look at putting the enchantment stuff in here, and up here we shall do two things here. Uh, the first one is we shall start doing our storage and crafting area here. And I'm thinking that we might put our sleeping area here. And if we have space, I want to put a, a nether portal in once we open the nether. So we're going to want to keep space free for that. So first things first, let's get that picked up and let's move that to its uh, proper location. So up here is the bedroom. So we'll put that there. It's daytime, so I can't set my small, but I will do so later on. And let's start with the kitchen. Let's get, at least get the kitchen done today. And like all, all good simmers, I like uh, uh, checkered tiles in the kitchen. So I've been looking at a few different colours. And I think I'm going to go with this one, the red and white. So let's get rid of the rest. What am I doing? Let's use the right tool for the right job. Yeah, thank you very much, Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott. I remember your advice well. So we're going to do the red and white. And I think I want to go out one more. So let's get rid of these cobblestones here. Like that. And we've got to grab all those. Let's get ourselves the uh, right stuff. So, mixture of red and white, like this. You start by falling off, why not? And, and then we'll stick white in the middle, like that. Yes, that looks very kitcheny, doesn't it? So, we need some stuff to go in here, so I'm thinking Let's do the whole proper, um, we'll have a fridge, we'll have a, uh, an oven, and we'll have a sink, and the rest can be um, working areas. So, where have I got? I have some iron. Uh, oh, yes, I have more than that. Good, it's in block form. And, excuse me, and... That's going to use. Uh, actually, to be, to be totally honest with you, I think iron is what we want at the moment. Oh, so the surfaces. Let's let's try oak wood. Let's try oak wood, and don't want to run in and out all the time. So let's put a crafting bench down in here, just there for a minute. All right, that's good. All right, so. Where's my iron? There's my iron. Have some of that. And I want an iron door or two. Though, unfortunately, they come in threes. And I think I want 
one of them. And I also want one of them. I think that's a good start. So we'll have ourselves a fridge like that, like that, and we're going to need a, a door on that to make it look like a fridge. Nope, that's not where I want it. Sometimes these can be so hard to put down. Let's try it like this. There we go, that'll do. Right, so here we go. Little fridge, fridge door on it. And we'll have... Um, some preparation space and then the cooker and then some more preparation space and then the sink and we'll put some water in there there we go and we'll just put some just some simple not that stuff that stuff that's what I want we should just put some uh, simple shelving there not shelving, uh, just some simple uh, countertop there, like that. And in order to make this look a bit more kitcheny, let's make that. Have a white top like this. There we go. No, not on top of the cooker. But one there, one there. And one there. Okay, so that's uh doesn't quite work, does it? Ah, that's what it needed. It needed a chicken in the sink. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh dear, I despair at this game sometimes. <laughs> oh, nice. Take, you gotta love Minecraft. Right, we're gonna stick the furnace in the corner there. That, yeah, yeah, that uh, divides it up a little bit. And actually, thinking about it, I've got some clay in here somewhere that I picked up the other day. Um. Just get to uh, two. Let's just get six of that. Oh, you got out. Now you'll never escape. Mm. Right, stick that in. <laughs> in there. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, you can cook with that. There we go. That'll probably do the trick. All right. Okay. So, um, while I'm thinking about it, let's let's make use of some of this stuff to make some paintings. Let's just stick some paintings down here to give it some color. Um, one, two, three. There we go. And nope. Uh, it's not too bad. And we'll have one on this wall. And we'll have a different one on this wall. Have a different one on this wall. If we want a single, okay, look. Try there. There we go. That's good. All right. And um, that last one we shall put here. Yeah, why not? Well, we'll perhaps move them around as we need them. Okay, so let's take that off. So there's our little kitchen area. So we have a nice red and white floor. We have a, uh, a sink. We have a fridge. We have a cooker. The cooker is finished. And so let's. Just do one last little bit. And that's like this. So we'll just put, let's say, oh, of course, I can't put things on top of carpet. I loathe carpet. Let's get rid of the carpet. Right, let's get rid of the carpet. Right, we're going to put one there and we're going to put one there. And let's go and find some pretty flowers to put in them. 
Uh, oh, actually, what do I have in here first? Mm. Oh, okay. One of them. Uh, nothing there. Okay, let's have a quick look around. Let's see what we can find. A pop in there just quickly. And then we are well over my 20 minute. Oh, there we go. An oxide daisy. I actually quite like these. I'll have one of them. There we go. All right. Just to uh, give it a little bit of a touch. And I do apologize. I did set out today to decorate this place from top to bottom. And, well, you can see how far I got. But at least we did a little bit. So we'll have a little bonsai tree in there. And... Oxide daisy in there. There we go. All we need now is some lighting in there, which it's not quite enough, but uh, I don't really want to put torches in. So it's probably going to have to wait until we get to the nether. So let's just pop one of them down there for now, just to give some lighting to make sure we don't get any creepers spawn in here. Next episode, we'll do the living room and hopefully start on some some storage and crafting stuff up here hello you need a name and in the meantime let's christen this bed there we go so i shall see you next time